Hey everyone, um, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I know that some of you are quite loyal and you tend to watch all my videos on Wednesdays and Fridays, um, and I'm just doing this in case you don't have Instagram and you don't know what's happened, um, so I'm just doing like a, I'm not even editing this video, I'm literally filming it and uploading it straight to YouTube. Last week, you saw my vlog um, where I was showing you my cats and I showed you Rocky. He was um, the youngest cat. He was one year old and two days ago, I woke up to the news that he was run over. Um, it was really early in the morning person who did it didn't stop just kept going so it was um, a woman who saw him on the road and tried to pick him up to put to put him on the pavement so he didn't get even more That's, those are my other cats um, and then my neighbor called me because my parents are currently in Portugal so I've, I've been taking care of my cats my neighbor called me at 7.30 a.m. saying that Rocky was dead. Um, and it's just been, it's been a really hard couple of days because today is actually, a year ago today is the day where we got him. The first time I met him was a year ago today. So we didn't even get to be together for a whole year. Um, so I was going to post a vlog on Wednesday, but that's the day it happened, so I decided to just leave it for now. I might upload it next week, Wednesday. Um, I'm not doing a cover, a cover today. I just need a few days to kind of mourn him and be with my two other cats and I just wanted to say that if any of you have pets just hold them tight and don't let go because I wish that I I accidentally stopped recording that's why there was a cut anyways I wish that I had had more time with Rocky and he had a really short life, but really eventful. Um, he was always outside. And part of me kind of knew that this was bound to happen sometime. He was always outside. He would only come in for like five minutes to eat, drink water, and then he would just go back outside. And he always wanted more. He always wanted to explore more. So he kind of... I guess he crossed, he tried to cross the road to see what was on the other side and a car hit him. Um, I'm thinking of starting a petition because I know that it's illegal for someone to run over a, a dog or any other animals and not report it, but cats are not included. So I'm I think you're starting a petition to make it illegal to run over a cat and not report it because if that person had stopped and tried to see if he was okay, maybe he would still be here today. But yeah, I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to make such a depressing video today. But I hope you're all having a good week and I I might post the vlog because I went to the theatre with Joe so I might post that vlog next week um because it's all it's edited it's finished so um all I need to do is just upload it um but yeah I don't really know what else to say it's just been a really hard couple of days but yeah thank you
or for your support because a few of you have messaged me on Instagram and commented on on a post because I posted a picture of me and him kind of like a dedicating the post to him but thank you all for your support it means a lot to me and um <laughs> they're they're also I can tell that they're really depressed as well when the morning it happened um Violetta the white cat she was meowing a lot and it was like kind of a scary meow it was like you could tell she was she kind of knew what was going on she could she could sense it but yeah um i'll see you next wednesday i'll post a vlog on wednesday i don't really know how to end this video but i hope you're all okay hug your pets